Camilla's Fury, The Rising Influence of Princess Catherine, and The Rift in the Royal Family. Why Queen Camilla's Battle Against Princess Catherine, Is It Because Catherine's Growing Influence? Why Queen Camilla is Furious? Let's find out and unravel this mystery together. Before we dive into today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any of our content. If you enjoy what you're seeing, don't forget to like, comment, and share with your friends to help support the channel. Your engagement means the world to us. Now, let's get started. The British royal family, long a symbol of tradition, stability, and heritage, is no stranger to intrigue and tension behind its gilded doors. With its members constantly in the public eye, the relationships and dynamics among royals are scrutinized, discussed, and analyzed not just by the media, but by royal enthusiasts and critics alike. The latest focus of attention lies between two of the most prominent women in the family today, Queen Camilla, the wife of King Charles III, and Catherine, the Princess of Wales, wife to the heir apparent, Prince William. Envy is a powerful motivator, and it is possible that Camilla's continued opposition to Catherine stems from a sense of resentment. As Catherine's influence grows, Camilla may feel that her own legacy is being overshadowed by the younger, more popular Princess of Wales. For someone who has fought so long to be accepted by the public and the royal family, watching Catherine's effortless rise to prominence could be a bitter pill to swallow. For many years, the British public and the media have observed what appears to be a strained relationship between Camilla and Catherine. As time has passed, the tension has only seemed to deepen, reaching new levels after King Charles' coronation. Camilla, who spent much of her life on the periphery of royal life, has now finally achieved the highest position a woman can hold in the royal hierarchy, Queen Consort of the United Kingdom. Yet, despite achieving what many would see as the ultimate royal dream, Camilla's apparent hostility toward Princess Catherine has continued to simmer. What lies at the heart of this tension, and why does Camilla, now in her mid-seventies, continue to oppose a woman many see as the future of the monarchy? To understand the current dynamic between Queen Camilla and Princess Catherine, one must look back at the history of Camilla Parker Bowles herself. Her relationship with King Charles has been a subject of great interest for decades, rooted in scandal, controversy, and enduring affection. Camilla's name first became well known to the public during her years as Charles' longtime companion, a relationship that ultimately developed during his marriage to the late Princess Diana. It was a love story that, to many, tarnished the public's perception of both Charles and Camilla, casting Camilla as the other woman in one of the most high-profile marriages in history. Princess Diana, the first wife of King Charles, was beloved by the public for her grace, charity work, and the image of vulnerability she projected as she navigated life under the intense pressures of royal life. Her tumultuous marriage to Charles, which was overshadowed by his ongoing relationship with Camilla, created a media storm and fostered a divide between the public's love for Diana and their disdain for Camilla. Even after Diana's tragic death in 1997, this perception persisted, and it took years for Camilla to be accepted by the broader public and the royal family. However, as time passed, Charles and Camilla's relationship became formalized. They married in 2005, and slowly, Camilla began to take on a more prominent role within the royal family. Despite lingering public unease about her presence, Camilla appeared to adapt well to her duties, supporting Charles in his various charitable endeavors and public appearances. Yet, the shadow of Diana never quite faded, and to this day, Camilla remains a figure of controversy for many, as she represents a reminder of the painful love triangle that defined much of the 1980s and 1990s royal narrative. Princess Catherine, born Catherine Middleton, came from a decidedly different background compared to Camilla. A commoner by birth, Catherine entered the public consciousness when her relationship with Prince William became known. From the beginning, Catherine was seen as a refreshing new face for the royal family, a modern, relatable figure who could connect with a younger generation of royal watchers. Her grace, humility, 
and poise quickly won over not only Prince William, but also the hearts of the British public. Catherine's rise to prominence in the royal family was marked by a sense of stability and dedication. She embraced her royal responsibilities with a sense of duty, throwing herself into charitable work and representing the monarchy with quiet dignity. Over the years, Catherine has worked on numerous causes, ranging from early childhood development to mental health awareness, aligning her public image with the modern, compassionate face of the royal family that Prince William has been trying to promote. As Princess of Wales, Catherine occupies a position that was once held by Princess Diana, a role that comes with great expectations and responsibility. In many ways, Catherine's natural grace and composure have drawn comparisons to Diana, and while the two women's experiences in the royal family differ vastly, the public's affection for Catherine echoes the widespread admiration once held for Diana. In contrast to the rocky relationships that surrounded Diana, Catherine has been portrayed as a steadying force in Prince William's life, a partner who is ready to embrace her future role as Queen Consort one day. The coronation of King Charles III in 2023 was a historic moment for the British monarchy, marking the beginning of a new reign following the death of Queen Elizabeth II. It was also a moment of reckoning for the relationships within the royal family. As Charles ascended to the throne, Camilla was officially crowned as Queen Consort, a role that many had long debated whether she would ever assume. The coronation should have been a moment of triumph for Camilla, a crowning achievement after years of public scrutiny and resistance. However, rather than ushering in a period of harmony, the coronation appears to have exacerbated the existing tensions between Camilla and Catherine. Reports suggest that the two women's relationship grew colder in the months leading up to the event, with disagreements over everything from protocol to their respective roles within the family. For Camilla, the coronation was not just the realization of her lifelong dream, but also a moment to solidify her position at the top of the royal hierarchy. Yet, in Catherine, she may have seen a rival for the public's affection, a younger, more popular figure, who has been increasingly seen as the future face of the monarchy. Catherine, meanwhile, has continued to rise in prominence alongside her husband, Prince William. As the heir apparent, William's role within the monarchy has become increasingly central, and with it, Catherine's visibility and influence have grown. The public has come to see the couple as a modernizing force within the royal family, a pair who represent the future while still respecting the traditions of the past. As William and Catherine's star continues to rise, it may be that Camilla feels her own influence waning, leading to a sense of resentment. One of the key factors that likely fuels the tension between Camilla and Catherine is the issue of public perception. For Camilla, her journey within the royal family has always been marked by controversy and challenges. As the other woman in Charles' marriage to Diana, Camilla was subjected to years of intense media scrutiny and public vitriol. Even after her marriage to Charles, Camilla struggled to win over the public, with many still viewing her as a divisive figure within the monarchy. By contrast, Catherine has been able to navigate royal life with far less controversy. From the beginning, Catherine has enjoyed widespread public approval, her every move praised by the media. This stark difference in the way the two women have been perceived may be a source of envy or frustration for Camilla. While Camilla has worked hard to prove herself as a dedicated member of the royal family, she has never quite been able to shake the shadow of her past, whereas Catherine has been embraced with open arms. Envy is a theme that has long run through the relationships within the British royal family. With its strict hierarchy, formal roles, and public-facing nature, the monarchy is an environment where comparison is inevitable. Those within the family are often measured against one another, not just in terms of their official duties, but in how they are perceived by the public and the media. Throughout history, we have seen instances of envy and rivalry within royal households. Whether it was the tense relationship between Queen Elizabeth I and her cousin Mary, Queen of Scots, or the friction between Queen Victoria and her son, Edward VII, royal families are no strangers to internal strife. 
In the case of Camilla and Catherine, the issue of envy seems to stem not just from their respective positions within the family, but from the way they are viewed by the public. For Camilla, her legacy will always be tied to her complicated past, no matter how much good she may do as queen consort. Catherine, on the other hand, has been able to create a fresh, new narrative for herself, one that is defined by her charitable work, her family values, and her role as the wife of the future king.